Kwangu, thank you so much for your time on the lead this afternoon. We don't have an official statement yet, uh, but this is what we understand. How are the news being received there in Zambia? Oh, yes, Clements, about half an hour ago uh, to 45 minutes ago, the streets of Lusaka and the rest of the country is awash with this information that our founding president and first president, Dr. Kenneth Kawanda, has passed away. As you have said, we are now awaiting an official statement or announcement that will most likely come from the incumbent president, Dr. Edgar Lungo. So um, all indications are at this time that Dr. Kawunda has passed away, but we are awaiting that official mm. statement. So the information that we had earlier this week, Kwangu, was that he was admitted in hospital for pneumonia. Uh, he was at a military hospital. There have been questions around whether or not uh, the illness um, was associated with COVID-19. Did we ever get a clarity on that? Because the statement that was sent out wasn't quite specific um, on, on the particular illness. Yes, Clement, that is correct. There was a statement about two days ago that he was suffering from pneumonia at the Maina Soko Hospital here in Lusaka. This is a military hospital. It's actually along Independence Avenue, just a few hundred meters away from the president's official residence, that is State House. Yes, more speculation on that, whether it was associated with COVID-19, that has not been confirmed. So we will go by what the official statement a few days ago saying he was suffering from pneumonia says. Yeah. H how are Zambians are going to be remembering uh, this founding president of Zambia? Uh, he ruled Zambia from 1964 um, when the country got its independence from Britain. Let's talk about some of the things that he was able to achieve or some of the things that Zambians have in the past celebrated him for. Okay, as you know, he was affectionately known as KK, which stood for Kenneth Kaunda. Mm -hmm. um, yes, he did rule us from independence in 1964, and he will be fondly remembered by a lot of Zambians. He is the founding father of this nation. I mean, when um, we all have great memories about Dr. Kaunda, in his era, there was free education, we had quality health care, which was free. He also helped neighboring countries such as yourself in liberation struggles. Yeah. We can talk about Zimbabwe, we can talk about Namibia. I mean, it's endless on the continent. He was one, one of the founding fathers of the Organization for African Unity which is now known as the AU, the African Union. So Dr. Kawunda will not only be fondly remembered here in his home country, but worldwide and specifically on the African continent. Yeah, I mean, Zambia was the home uh, for a lot of our uh, liberation you know, activists as well. And, and a lot of them often tell stories of how um, he played a role in just protecting them and, and creating a home um, in Zambia. W when he left a government, uh, Kwangu, what has he been up to? Let's look at the last couple of years. Uh, what has he been up to? Well, if we talk about the last five years, I mean, he was, um, he was 97 years um, old as of now today. But he had aged gracefully. Um, he hasn't been seen in public much. I did have the opportunity of having an interview with him two years ago. Um, and during that interview, it took us about three days to shoot the interview because obviously because of his age and his memory. But it was fantastic to see him. He did sing his traditional Tiende Pamozi song. Um, and also, you know, his mantra was one Zambia, one nation, meaning, you know, just he didn't want any tribalism in this country. He wanted us to stand together as one nation. So a lot of people know that mantra, one Zambia, one nation. And it is... Uh, associated with our founding father, Kenneth Kaunda. Yeah. So, so when you spoke to him over the three days, uh, what, what are your fond memories in the time that you interviewed him two years ago? Okay, definitely they were singing um, the Tiende Pamozi song with him. He got out his guitar and the two of us sat together and we sang that song. And just when I arrived at his residence, um, he had this thing about he would come out and greet you and then he would uh, do a bit of a, a jog. You know, um, mm. I, he always used to do that. So he did that as well. He also blessed me with his handkerchief. Um, I knelt on my knees and he put his hand over me and he blessed me and the whole camera crew. 
We talked about the African continent then. This was, as I said, two years ago. We talked about the land issue um, in uh, South Africa when you were talking about um, the land issue in South Africa. We also talked about Zimbabwe and uh, the late president, Robert Mugabe. We touched a lot of issues. Uh, early on that year, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta had come to Zambia to pay the courtesy call on him. So he talked about um, Kenyatta's father as well and the fond memories he had with these uh, liberation leaders of Africa who saw a lot of their countries into independence. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's just incredible. I mean, he's one of the uh, surviving uh, liberation heroes. Thank you so much for your time, Kwanguli Wewe uh, from Zambia's Hot FM, reflecting on the breaking news um, we're running here on the lead. Zambia's founding president, Kenneth Kaunda, has died.